Hello and welcome to this Getting Started tutorial for Thea for SketchUp. In this three-part series, we will explore Thea's content browser, proxies and camera setup. Starting with a clean model, we will apply materials, add and create vegetation as proxies, create the environment and set up cameras. In this first part, we will explore Thea Content Browser and use it to easily apply Thea materials to our scene. So let's start. Thea Content Browser is a feature of the standalone application and is common for all the plugins. It comes packed with ready-to-use materials, models and environments. To open it in SketchUp, click the red folder icon. On the left side we have the tree view that contains all these assets and categories. Using a material from the browser is quite straightforward, since all you have to do is to double click on it to change to the bucket tool with the material selected. Now that we have the bucket tool enabled, Click on its object to change its material to the concrete one. We will follow the same procedure for the rest of the materials in the scene. Let's start viewport rendering to see how the materials look like. After having applied materials to our model, it is time to use Thea Content Browser to load an environment map which will replace the sun and sky we currently have with predefined settings. By using the check updates, you can download materials, skies and models provided by Thea Render to use on your projects. With materials applied to our model, it is time to use Thea Content Browser to load an environment map. Open both browser and rendering window and put them side by side. Select the environment tab and from the drop down menu select IBL. Go to the browser and click on Skies. For this tutorial we have created a new sky. To apply to the scene, double click on it and you will see that the environment tab gets updated with the current selection. Let's see how that looks like. To create your own skies, export the scene to Thea Studio. From the Environment tab, load the HDR or EXR images and modify their parameters. Once happy with the result, right-click on the Skies tab inside Browser and select Save Sky. Give a name for your custom sky and press OK. Now refresh browser in SketchUp to see the new sky. 
Let's move on to the models category to bring proxies inside SketchUp. To import proxies in SketchUp, click on Models category. For this scene we have created a custom library. To apply a proxy model to the scene, double click on it and you will see that it is ready to be imported inside our scene. We will now repeat the same procedure to add more vegetation. Give some variation to the scene by rotating and scaling the repeated geometry. Now that we have finished adding and positioning our vegetation, let's see our final images. In the next part we will explore the different ways of creating proxies for high poly models inside SketchUp. Thank you for watching.